Hello students, welcome back. In the last session we have discussed about the modeling. We have covered poly modeling. Now we are going to start with the spline modeling. Let us move with the software. This is the interface of 3ds Max. And in the standard parameters, we have some standard objects and the shapes we have uh, some shapes like line tool, these are the hollow shapes, rectangle, only have a length and width. Circle, ellipse, arc, do not and gone star this is a text option we can write that text here by default it's a max text we can write here text and adjust the si size of the object. This is the for width, leading is for the spacing, if we select the rectangle and go to the modify panel, as I have told you before that every object has uh, properties which come under modify panel, rendering, if we press F 9, we cannot see in render, we just see in viewport only. If we mark here, enable in render, you can see in the render, or we want a radial or a rectangular of this line shape. Say, if I want a rectangular, then here is the thickness. I have marked here enable in render, but not marked here enable in viewport. So, that is why it is not showing enable in viewport. Thickness of the rectangle, how much segments we want, angle to give the angle. This is a rectangular properties and if we on here, these are the, these are the radial and these are the rectangular. Length, width, angle, say if we want to make a photo frame, this is a border of the frame. Every object has a properties like a star and say enable in render, enable in viewport. 
radial or rectangular both. Here we have a one more option with the star, we want a six point star or a how much point we want. This is the radius, second radius, second is the internal radius and this is the external radius, distortion This is the radius of these corners and for internal corners there is a second one radius. Press F 9 for render. The every shapes we have the parameters select the object and say delete select the text and right click on the angle snap say 90 degree snap go to the front view and select the rotate snap in 90 degree then press the move tool This is the holo text. If we render this, we have not seen anything. Enable in render and enable in viewport. Now we can see the text in render. Thickness, I have selected radial here. sides place in the mid here we have a arc option is the radius of the arc like if I want it here the from is for where you have to start the arc and where you have to end the arc in the shapes every 
object has uh, properties and it is not renderable. We have to on here enable in viewport and render. Under this, we can see this output. If we want a solid text, then from the modifier list, here is the modify panel and here is the modify list. Select the object and go to the modify list and press E. This is the extrude. Give the amount how much we have to extrude. This is a segment dividation. or we can convert this into poly. Here we have the extrude option. If we, say if we do a copy of this, change the color and this is for delete the modifier. From the modifier list, we have put in the extrude modifier here. This is for delete, remove modifier. As then place it like this. delete the extrude. Here we have the option of bevel, press the B. In the bevel, we can extrude from the three stages with that taper. level for the height or then with the second level and third level These are the modifiers we can put to the text or any shape, extrude or bevel we can put on any shape. Read the modifier.
the text we have the size as I have told these are the founts select the object select this one and press F 9, then we got this effect. Here is the button to delete the modifier. if I delete this, select the text and here we have the founts. Select the object and select the found and with the arrows we can see the founts on text. select this arc and delete. Here is the option for underline, italic, italic is the option for underline. the shapes we have the text or line rectangle, 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 circle as I have discussed, text is for making text, Alex We want to make a spring, then with the shapes make a helix, go to the modify panel, thickness, these are the parameters of helix, radius, the first one is bottom radius and the second one is up radius, this is the height, turns, how much turns we want, like by default it is a one turn, press F 9 for render. Bias. If I make it like this, then create a rope effect. Here is the option of clockwise or anti clockwise. If I am putting turn like this, this is a clockwise and this is the option of anti clockwise. This is a section.
you set the max and with these shapes we are creating a vessel take a line tool this is a free line we can tweak the vertex and make a new shape from the front view making a glass i am making a glass shift for the straight line press here and then press shift then right click or deselect go to the modify list as we go to the poly polygon poly modeling we have a vertex edge border polygon options here we have a, a vertex or a segment to select the segments between the two vertices this is the spline to select the whole spline select the vertex with the line tool we have as i've told you this is a free line to give any shape we have a handles to control this shape we select the vertex and adjust these handles select the vertex and right click on the vertex here we have the some parameters of this like brazier corner i will tell you what is this this is for brazier this is corner to give the corner effect this is for smooth it gives the smooth effect like this brazier corner is for just uh, from one side i have to give a round effect and another a corner or brazier to give both side a round effect if i say corner with this also then say brazier corner then press the handle and adjust the vertex vertex has its own options refine is the option for creating a new vertex in this edge so if i want to put here a one vertex 
then press uh, refine and wherever you want to put click there If I say brazier to this, we have got a round effect here. Select the vertex and here we have a option of chamfer, this for this creates a vertex with the vertex with the this vertex it creates a more two vertex and we can give a little bit corner. Select this vertex and move down. Say brazier corner and to give the round effect. Go to the modify list and press L for the lathe. Lathe makes a symmetry as I have model right side and say lathe and it is become in symmetry. Symmetry on minimum, if we say center then it work from the center where our pivot is maximum from the right side of the pivot. Put the modifier go to vertex and say show result with editing mode. We can edit this with the lathe option. Select the vertex, control plus selection is for multi selection.
we see I start uh, modeling from here till here and then then say lathe it's become solid if I select the starting vertex and move here read this vertex tweak the vertex I want to have one more vertex here, then go to the vertex and then say refine. corner to this vertex and put here up one more vertex. one more vertex for making the inside of the glass. Adjust the handles. I want to maintain this curve. Select this vertex and adjust the handles. For the proper roundness, I have to put here one more vertex 
and say smooth. Here we have the option of segments in the lathe to increase the segments. If we see the render, the background of this is black. If we want to change this background, then press 8. This is an environment effects and settings. By default, it is a black. Change the color here. As we have put lathe on it, if we want to weld this vertex with the left side of the lathe object, go to the lathe and say weld. become weld. And here is the option of flipping the normals, flipping the faces. See this is the faces, if I want to flip these faces, it is in black. these splines or line, we can create many shapes making a glass, jug or wrought iron furnitures. Used for making the logo. I take this image and with the line, we can make these curves and make a character. We are making a bench with the line.
go to the front view select the line press shift for the straight line If I create this line and adjust the vertex, give effect And here we have uh, another line. And if we want to join this, first rotate this on ninety degree. If I join these lines. Then select the line and say attach. Attach is for one attachment and attach multi. Like we, we I have uh, two three shapes here, and if I want to attach the these shapes, this is for multi attachment. Say at attach. Become a one object. Go to the vertex, select the vertex, and right click on the vertex. And here we have option of connect. Right click on the vertex, say connect. Drag this and drop to the connected vertex. Right click, it is being connect. And select the vertex, right click and connect. If I select the segment and it is a one mesh or a one shape. not show in render if I press F 9, then enable in viewport or enable in render, then it is become renderable. But it do not have a smooth effect here, a corners form. Then go to the vertex and put the refine. See in render. Oh, 
I want to mirror this on y axis copy offset select the both one and rotate I put it here with the move tool it is become a nice shape If you select the line tool, here we have a option of snaps to snap with the grid. This is basically used for the spline tool modeling part. We want to make a square or straight lines, then I press here then with the jerk it goes towards the straight. With the making of shape or with the line tool, if you want to go back two vertex back or a one more vertex back, then press back space. Press back space for go back. Delete for deleting the whole segment. So, this is the end of spline modeling. If you have any questions, you can ask. Sir, what is the difference between a spline modeling and poly modeling? With the spline modeling, we can create the custom shapes or we can make the logos. Or, or in the spline modeling, we have these box, these are the solid shapes or cone the standard primitive we can if we want to make a shape round shape like this then it will take uh, more time if I do with the cylinder and make shape like these this curve it will take a very much time this is end of our modeling part in this modeling we have covered the basic modeling with the standard parameters extrude, poly and spline and in the next module is shading, we will discuss about the shading.